In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Rode NT-USB condenser microphone. Stay tuned till the end so you can find out how to use it with your DSLR. My name is Rebecca Meyer, and if you're new to this channel, first let me begin by welcoming you. We predominantly do tech reviews of gizmos and gadgets, so if you're interested in those things, make sure you hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring that bell. And be sure to check the show notes because we'll have links to all the products below. So recently I had been getting a lot of uh, compliments actually on my uh, audio. Um, as you probably already know, audio is by far the number one most important thing you can have uh, when doing YouTube videos. So I wanted to make sure that I had a good one and I came across the Rode NT USB microphone by Rode. Um, it's inexpensive, it's amazing, and I use it predominantly for all of my videos. So let's get into some of its features. What's great about this microphone is that it does come with a little stand, so you can use it by your desktop uh, if you're predominantly doing voiceovers and things like that. The phone is plug and play, so literally all you have to do is plug it into your computer and it's gonna start working right away. There's not much to it, so you don't have that much uh, control over it. However, it is a very good microphone. There's only two dials on this microphone. One is gonna be for your headphone levels, the other is gonna be for your microphone levels. Now, not necessarily for your gain control. Uh, you'll be able to fix that inside your uh, your software or whatever, whatever program you're using to, to do your editing. Um, so it's not very complicated to use. The Rode NT-USB microphone actually comes with, uh, with a desktop stand. However, it can be attached very easily to a, a boom stand or a microphone stand. The Rode USB condenser microphone also comes with a pop filter. Now, this was one of the selling points for me because uh, using a pop filter can help you get really clear sound. Now, if you're using a point and shoot camera or your cell phone or maybe an action camera and, uh, and you wanna be able to sync up that sound, it's very, very easy to do that. All you need to do is give yourself a clap on camera and then you can match up the, the sound waves from the, from the microphone to uh, whatever camera you're using. All right, let's talk about how to use your USB mic with a DSLR. First thing, you're gonna plug in the mic to the USB port. Next, find the headphone jack. I'm gonna be using a three millimeter cord for this. Next, plug it into your camera and the mic jack. And then once you're plugged in correctly, you're gonna go into your settings on your camera. Find the section for sound recording, and you wanna change it from auto to manual. Once you've got it in, then you're gonna take the preamp all the way down to the very last level. Testing, 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 testing. Now you may need to adjust the levels on your microphone using the headphone level. As you can see, it's super, super easy to attach it to your DSLR and the sound quality is really fantastic. So I hope you enjoyed this little tiny review and tutorial and uh, if you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring that bell. And, uh, and I'll have all the links in the show notes below, so make sure you check those out too. All right, have a great day.